invited to a poker game this weekend, and I think at poker I've probably played three times, four times in my entire life. But I figured, good group, why not change things up a bit? And I was considering whether or not to bring a cigar to the gentleman's house who was hosting, and I thought, you know what? Better to have it and not need it than want it or need it and not have it. So, same principle holds true with the concept of wearing a tie with a sport jacket or blazer. I'm gonna go over three different outfits and show you ways to do it. I consider it actually the most sophisticated, most difficult look to pull off, but if you pay attention to what I would consider your fashion icons in today's world, uh, people like Waffle Elkin, Daniel Craig, Ryan Reynolds, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, they pull off this look seamlessly, and what's beautiful about it, if you're invited to an event, whether it be work or social, where the dress code is nebulous or not quite clear, smart casual or business casual or business dress, whatever it might be considering, the idea of having a tie with your outfit, if it's a sport coat or blazer, is that you can always take it off if it feels like you're overdressed for the event. So I'll show you three different looks from Marzoni, one of our fabric mills, who is definitely on the cusp or the front edge of men's fashion. So this first look is a really interesting blazer. A lot of just unique things going on. It's a red blazer, so it's definitely not your typical blazer, but he is wearing what's referred to as an executive shirt, meaning the collar is white where the shirt is a pattern contrast. And he's got a really cool knit tie. That particular look, I would say, would not look great without the tie, so you would probably wear that the entire evening, but that's example number one of what I would say is the dressiest of the sport coat, shirt, and necktie look. Idea number two is just your classic navy blazer, so a little bit uh, less pronounced than what I have on here. And it's going to be, again, paired up with a really cool tie. Uh, here it is. And he's wearing a button-down linen shirt. If you've watched any of my videos, you know how I feel about button-down with ties. But, again, there's always exceptions to the rule. Since this is a casual silk linen and wool jacket, it's a linen shirt, so it's more casual. He can pull off the button-down look. And if he showed up at a wedding or a work event where it felt overdressed, you could certainly drop the tie, and that whole outfit would look great without the tie. Here's the last look that I think is just great. This is one of my favorite looks in the entire book. So he's got, again, a silk linen and wool, very bold uh, chocolate brown window pane. Also, the executive collar and cuff. So he's got a very uh, pale, like, buttercream striped shirt with a white collar. But then he's got the knit tie, which is what I'm wearing today. So that's going to be the most casual of ties. This outfit is brilliant because it's a large window pane. He's got a subtle stripe in the shirt. And then a solid tie pulls it all together. Again, if you showed up at a place where it felt like you were wearing too much, you simply drop the tie and your outfit still looks well put together. Talk about one last concept as far as putting together outfits. So the rule of three in this particular outfit I'm wearing, I've got a solid light blue shirt. There's a very subtle uh, window pane in the jacket and then obviously a horizontal stripe knit tie. Technically, you've got two things going on right now, the window pane and the stripe, so you could certainly add a third element of color or pattern, in which case uh, I love the idea of a linen pocket square. This is one of my favorite pocket squares. It's a Union Jack, and if you use the flower fold to pull it together, uh, you've got a little bit of the color that is in the tie, and then there's also a little bit of red in the jacket that I'm wearing, so that would be your third element as far as color and pattern right there. So to summarize, if you're on the fence as to whether or not to wear a tie with a blazer or a sport coat, I would encourage you to give it a shot. Again, it's one of the more sophisticated looks that your best dressed guys in the world pull off seamlessly, and it gives you the option to go in at the appropriate dress level or to always drop the tie, hide it in your pocket or in your car if you feel like you're overdressed. Thanks for checking it out. Happy dressing.